Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Ahaya. Everybody, praise Ahaya one more time. Praise Ahaya from whom all blessings flow. Amen and amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann in Yesiah the Christ, Yesiah the Messiah, Yesiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God Ahaya and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings, greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yeshahel. Yeshahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel the proper name is Yeshahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yeshahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth all over in the diaspora. I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Messiah the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great King is coming back for without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all in his glorious name, Messiah the Christ. All right, you can um, skip this video and find the main message. I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid gray border with a tick by the side of my name. Anybody else pretending to be me is a wicked, dirty devil. You need to rebuke and report them. Please watch the video to the end. There's a sinner's pride there for you. We want you into the kingdom of a higher. Amen. All right. Thank you for liking the videos. I'm going to stop the video now because a man and his dog is running in my video. So I'm going to, yeah. A um, couple of people are jog jogging. <laughs> I didn't want them in the, in the video. Um, yes, so um, this is inspired there for you, brothers and sisters. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for going in the comment section. Thank you for blessing me through PayPal and also on this platform by hitting the thanks button. Ahaya, eternally bless you. I am so appreciative of your beautiful love gifts, brothers and sisters. I really do. Um, Thank you for those of you who are subscribed to the channel. All right. Okay. We are near. We're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, Yesiah the Christ, but we're also near to the revealing of the lawless one, the dirty Antichrist. Daniel 7 verse 25 tells us that Satan through the Antichrist will seek to change times, laws, and seasons, and it will be given to him. It will be given to him in his hands. So this world will be relentless. It will be demonic. So you have to pray to be found worthy. Yesiah says, pray to be found worthy to escape these things coming upon the earth i believe he's talking about the woman in revelation 12 yes part of that um, prophecy has been fulfilled with the woman giving birth we know that the birth of the man child is yes is yesiah the christ but the woman fleeing into the wilderness has not happened that represents the great worldwide second exodus the woman has 12 stars on her head amen and those are the tribe that went through the transatlantic slavery the most star by his mad hand is going to regather the seed of Jacob no lie it is the truth and it is going to happen so second exodus first and then the sixth seal opens and we know when the sixth seal opens um that is Yesiah coming in the clouds of glory glory be to your name lord all right okay um we have a prophetic theme song called We Are Near, a song that my mama taught me when I was a, a little girl. Um, she used to hide sweeties and toys. Listen, this is no slogan, really. It's, it's, it's a reality because we are near. We're near to so many things, brothers and sisters, so we have to prepare. So I have a little theme song called We Are Near, and the song goes like this. And there you are, 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 and there Yes, we are near, and we can sing that song with right confidence all right brothers and sisters just hold on one second somebody else is passing <laughs> amen <coughs> we can sing that song with confidence all right i have two ministries one for the end time prophetic ministries and one for the hebrew yashayalites all right so i've seen this article on my facebook hmm super moons not one but two 2023 um it says when to watch August double star stargazing treat and blue moon phenomenon. You see, brothers and sisters, these people don't understand prophecy. So they think that this is a treat. <laughs> they think that the, the, the super moons that is coming is a wonder. It's a treat. It's a phenomenon. But those of us in Christ know that this represents judgment. Bible says that there shall be signs in the heavens. 
glory be to the most style and the moon is one of them because what people don't understand brothers and sisters and, and it's only because the wicked has changed up the calendar but back in the days brothers and sisters the moon was a part of a highest calendar that is how the Hebrew Yeshelai um, know when certain thing is going to happen, so on and so forth, because Ahaya used the moon. But you know what the wicked is like, Satan, anything that Ahaya calls good, the dirty devil turns it around for evil, right? So now they're thinking, oh, super moon is coming. And it is going to be a phenomenal event. It's going to be a miracle, something to look for, something to watch for. But they don't know because, you see, the wicked cannot read the times and the signs of the seasons. Let me repeat that one more time. The wicked cannot read the times and the signs of the season. They are unable to detect when judgment is going to fall. Right? So the wicked is, is unable to detect. And work out the signs and the times and the seasons that we're in so now they're saying that this super moon is coming and woo whoa we it's a phenomenon it's a treat so they're saying that the cosmos <laughs> oh boy help us father cosmos right they don't know that this is a part of a highest judgment to warn the world but anyway, they say the cosmos is offering up a double feature in August. A pair of super moons commun um, um, commun com me speak. culminating in a rare blue moon. So are we <laughs> so according to them, we're gonna see two moons in the sky, according to the if I'm reading correctly from the article. Brothers and sisters, when you see these things, please know that judgment is near. Mighty God of creation. I cannot lie. Do you know how many visions I've had warning the church of two moons, double moons in the sky? I've seen it in the vision. I need to find them vision about the moons and upload them. <clears throat> I cannot lie. And here you have it. They're saying that double <clears throat> sorry that the cosmos is offering up double feature in august so two moons and there these are super moon these are bright red bright yellow moon but according to them it's going to be blue as well right rare blue moon they call it um is going to come in august this is judgment brothers and sisters wake up don't follow the wicked and jump in for joy. Hurrah, phenomenal. Yay, pretty, pretty moons in the sky. No. Understand the times. Ahaya says that he's going to put signs in the heavens. And this is to warn the church of judgment that is coming. It says, catch the first show, choose the evening. As the full moon rises in the southeast, which Tuesday, I don't know, they didn't give a date. Well, I said, catch the first show, they call it the show. So you, you see how the wicked put this thing up. So number one, they call it feature. Number one, the, number two, they call it a treat. Number three, they call it phenomenon. Number four, they call it show. Because that's what it is to them. It's just a show. <laughs> Wake up church. They say catch the first show. Choose the evening. I don't have a date. Because I didn't give a date. As the full moon rises in the southeast. Which country? I don't know. <coughs> appearing slightly brighter and brighter than normal. That's because it will be closer than usual. So they're saying that the moon is going to be the closest to the earth. So that's why obviously it looks big and bright. Um, the moon will be even closer the night. Okay, we've got a date here. So the moon will even be closer the night of the 30th of August. 
because it's the second full moon in the same month all right so i thought there were two moons in the sky but anyway i'm not ruling it out because anything is possible but um what they're saying is a double um blue moon two times in august two separate dates right <clears throat> um so but listen brothers and sisters this is judgment this 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 right here this right here this is judgment right because <clears throat> luke 21 luke 21 verse 25 to 28 this is a king james version bible all right luke 21 verse 25 to 28 this is Yesiah, the son of a higher speaking he says and there shall be what signs there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and what what's going to happen after that Yesiah says and upon the earth distress on nations understand what the lord is saying brothers and sisters please a higher cannot lie a higher never lies listen to me do not follow the wicked do not follow the mean dear when they come and pretty pretty up things this is judgment brothers and sisters there is a judgment that is coming something horrible something horrendous something horrific is coming to the earth I've just done a video. I've just done a video saying that Ahaya give me another. The Lord has given me another powerful vision about zombies. And in that vision, I say that you're going to need the Holy Spirit. When these things start to arise. When you see families and friends start to act like a zom zom in front of you. You're going to need the power of the Holy Ghost to subdue. I'll leave that video pin. Something horrible is coming, brothers and sisters. There's no if, buts, or maybes. Something, not, it's not right. Something not right is, well, not right. Something isn't right. So, Yesiah says, there shall be signs in the moon. And then after the signs in the moon, what's going to happen after that? The Lord said there will be distress upon nations. So there's a judgment that is hitting the earth. Distress. We have so many things to contemplate with. That it can be overwhelming at, at times. And that's why you need the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Love, joy, peace, long suffering. So when these things come upon you. You don't feel overwhelmed. You have the Holy Spirit to help you right watch this so when the lord says signs in the moon and <clears throat> upon the earth distress of nations mm -hmm. with perplexity come on now church perplexity this is what i just said to you that you're gonna need this fruit of the holy spirit because when these things begin to happen boom 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 it's going to be overwhelming for some people. And it can be overwhelming for the church. And so that's why you need to stand firm in Christ. Make sure that your anchor is in him. So when these things are hitting the earth, you're not in a state of panic. You're not in a state of, oh my days, what am I going to do? Oh my days, where is Jesus? If Jesus loves me, then this wouldn't happen. No, because you don't spend time with him for him to show you the things coming up on the earth. So perplexity, go look up that word. Perplexity, brothers and sisters. Right? Perplexity. <clears throat> Why is he stopping there? Perplexity, beautiful beloveds, right? Um, so, it's getting dark now. Per sorry, perplexity. Why is it all the ones that, why is that man stopping in the middle of the road? What is problem? 
There's a car, right? He stopped in the middle of the road. Hold on, brothers and sisters. Hold on. Right? With perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring. Men's heart failing them for looking after those things which are coming upon the earth. For the power of heaven shall be shaken. Brothers, we're in the end times. Yes, we may not, we may not be deep, deep, deep deep into the end times but we are there we are there brothers and sisters we are in the end times we're in the ending of days we're in the ending of days and so these things must come to pass signs judgment is coming full moon judgment is coming two in 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 a month that is don't take it lightly. When people talk about it, who don't understand prophecy, and they said, oh, full moon, oh, the moon, the moon is beautiful, it's pretty. You need to be able to say, look, yes, it may be pretty to you, but this represents judgment of a higher. Bible says that a higher is angry with the wicked every day. The Bible says that the wicked and those nations that has forgotten him will be turned over into hell. Brothers and sisters, this, this is serious. The signs are there. Learn to um, recognize the signs. You belong to the most. Uh, you don't belong to the world out there. Like I say, they're saying, oh, it's a phenomenon. It's beautiful. It's a rare treat. It's a feature. It's a show. And all these glamorous things they're describing. The judgment coming to the earth. Because the moon is a sign. We keep that's listen. This is the reason why when you come to Christ, you have to leave the world behind. You cannot be in Christ and be in the world like it's not going to work. Because our heritage, our belief in Ahaya is different from the world. Like I say. We know that these moons, these blood moons, these rare moons, these yellow moons, these red moons, whatever color it may be, up there in the heavens, we the church know it is a sign. It represents judgment. Because Yesaya said it. There shall be signs in the moon. And then after that, what's going to happen? Distress upon nation with perplexity. Seas and, 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 and the seas and the waves roaring. Men heart failing them for looking after those things. Brothers and sisters, we have to wake up. We have to lay aside every weight. We have to begin to wake up. Come off of baby milk. Yes, it's nice and it's beautiful and it's lovely. To, 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 to talk all day about faith and oh God loves the world oh talk about the love of God day in and day out just kill the people with the love of God but don't teach them about his wrath don't teach the people about judgment just teach them and tell them every day day in day out kill them with apathy God is love. Don't worry. God is love. They call him God. But we call him a higher. Right? <laughs> right? We say that God is... They, they, we call him a higher. World calls him God. And this is what the churches are doing. It's very, very sad. Very, very... Listen. I've, I've, you, you have to understand the mindset of some of these brothers and sisters who I don't even know what to call it you have to understand some of these mindset of these brothers and sisters who are filled with um how can I put it all right they refuse 
they refuse to believe that a higher is going to send judgment. They, they just totally refuse it. They, they refuse to believe. Because in their space, in their time, in their season, they just believe, like I say, Yesiah, they call him Jesus. Jesus is all about love. That's it. <laughs> Father God of creation, where are you, Lord? Hold on, some people are going to pass through my video. Let me um, um, just stop it for a little while. Right? That's it. Um, <clears throat> they just refuse to believe that Yesiah will do any damage. Because... All they know him for, he is the higher of love. Because in their mind, they say that grace, right? They said grace. Once you're underneath grace, then you're good. You can do whatever you want, but grace will um, cover it up. The dirty devil is a lie and there's no truth in him. So the super moon, um, if, I can, if it comes and it's clear sky in Babylon, UK, I don't know where it's going to show, I'm going to do a live video, if I can. I don't know if I can. If it's bright and I can see it, I'll do a live video and we'll talk some more about these super moons. But we have to wake up, brothers and sisters, because, yeah, we're, in, we're very, very near. Judgment is coming. Judgment is coming to this world, all right? Come to the end of the video. You have not accepted Yesiah as Lord and Savior. Please say the sinner's prayer after me. Dear Yesiah the Christ, I know that you're the son of a higher whom the world calls God. I believe that Yesiah died on the cross for my sins. Yesiah, I thank you for dying for me. And I believe in your death, burial, resurrection, and that Ahaya has raised you from the dead. I know with confidence that you are the son of Ahaya. Yesiah, um, the son of Ahaya. Where am I? This is so tiny. I'm reading it. Yesiah, King of Glory, I come before you right now and I'm asking you to wash away all my sins and to forgive me for all that I have done wrong. I repent for my wicked ways. Ahaya, I pray that you forgive me for all that I've done wrong um, and help me to give up the things displeasing to you in this world. Thank you for salvation and for saving me. If you said that prayer, believe with your heart. Welcome to the body of Christ. We believe in Acts 2, verse 38, where the Bible talks about repentance. Um, you now need to find a man of the most star, ask him to fully baptize you, fully dunk you in water. When you go down in water, you're saying that you said that on the cross, you believe in the atonement of sin. When the man of the most star raised you out of the water, you're raised into new life, you're raised into the glory and the power of Christ's resurrection. Beautiful stuff. So be bold, be strong, be courageous, walk with a higher, just like Enoch, and have the mindset of Job. All praises, all beautiful praises to so the most star, higher, who lives above the heavens, higher, eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory. In your size, only name amen amen benediction Jude chapter 1 verses 24 to 25 the bible reads now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise Isaiah or savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever amen 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 blessings amen